the Marxist engineers of society, knew full well the power of social conformity and peer pressure. Take the Ash Line experiment. A volunteer is told that he is taking part in a visual perception test. What he doesn't know is that the other participants are actors, and he is the only person taking part in a real test, which is actually about group conformity. The actors have been told to match the wrong lines. The volunteer will be monitored to see if he gives the correct answer, or if he goes along with the opinion of the group and gives the wrong answer. In the first test, the correct answer is two. Uh, one. 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 Two. One. In the second test, the correct answer is once again two. Three. 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 The Ash experiment has been repeated many times, with the results supported again and again. Humans will conform even when we don't believe what other people are saying. Social engineering through fear could be seen in the lead up to the 2020 election over and over again. I don't think uh, people should be voting today. People die. I have to come down here today and risk my life. Many Americans have wondered how the Germans could allow the atrocities of the Holocaust to happen right under their noses. Yet, Americans have been studied for years to see if they themselves could become instruments of death for other Americans. Psychologist Stanley Milgram looked at how humans responded to authority and how they were induced to obey unjust regimes and participate in atrocities. He set up an experiment. Volunteers were told they were taking part in scientific research to improve memory. Separated by a screen, the teacher would ask the learner questions in a word game and administer an electric shock when the answer was incorrect. He was told to increase the voltage with each wrong answer. Answer. Wrong. 150 volts. Answer, horse. Oh. Experiment, that's all. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Continue, please. Go right on. The experiment requires you continue, teacher. Please continue. Participants didn't know that the learner was really an actor and the so-called electric shocks harmless. You're gonna get a shock, 180 volts. Oh. I can't stand the pain, let me out of here. You can't here. stand it, I'm not gonna kill that man, eh? I mean, who's gonna take the responsibility if anything happens to that gentleman? I'm responsible for anything that happens here. Continue, please. Two thirds of the volunteers were prepared to administer a potentially fatal electric shock when encouraged to do so by what they perceived as a legitimate authority figure. In this case, a man in a white coat. I think something's happened to that boy there. I don't get no answer. He was hollering with less voltage. Can't you check in and see if he's all right, please? Milgram's results revealed that decent American citizens were as capable of committing acts violating their own conscience, just as the Germans had done under the Nazis. Figures throughout history have tried to warn us about the peril to come, such as Soviet communist defector Yuri Bezmenov. To change the perception of reality of every American, and it's divided in, in four basic stages. First one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. This is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students exposed to the ideology of the enemy. The next stage is destabilization. This time, subverter does not care about your ideas and the patterns of your consumption, and it takes only from two to five years to destabilize a nation. What matters is essentials, economy, foreign relations, defense systems. The United States is basically completed already. Uh, the next stage, of course, is crisis. 
Perks reveals that she and Dr. Fauci were lying to the president and to the American people about their COVID protocols. She admits to making things up, altering COVID reports and misinforming us in the name of public safety. We've really worked on messaging to the American people about these 15 days to stop the spread. And after crisis, with a violent change of, of power, structure and economy, you have so-called the period of normalization. It may last indefinitely. That is what the new normal is going to be. How did the theft of the 2020 election happen? We've been demoralized. We've been destabilized. And COVID presented the crisis to bring it all about. And if you're looking for the most explicit sign of normalization, look no further than Joe Biden being sworn in. This is your new normal.